everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you how to type accents on your computer. So in some languages like Spanish and French, there's accents over certain letters. So I'm going to show you how to type that if you have like a QWERTY keyboard or an English keyboard. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Chrome Web Store. This is of course if you have Google Chrome. Then go to extensions and search Google input tools. Add the first one. Now it's been added, you're going to click on it. Go to extension options. And make sure you sign in with your Google account. Now you're going to select the keyboards that you want. So. I always select English just so I can switch back and forth without too much difficulty. So first just double click it to add it. If you click on it once it's just gonna become like grey. So you have to click it twice in order for it to show up on selected input tools. So I'm gonna do English and then I'm gonna do Spanish. And you don't have to click save or anything, it's automatic save and you can just X out. Okay, so I have my document open. I'm going to click on the extension. You can choose English, and you can see when the extension is kind of affecting your keyboard. It has a blue color keyboard. So now it's just English, so it's just gonna be normal. Uh, now I'll click Spanish, and it's the same, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. But I can do accent. So what do you do is you type the apostrophe, and then the letter that you want the accent on top of. So A, or E, I, O, U. So have all the vowels. And then if you want to do the, the N, you can do a semicolon, where semicolon usually is. And then where the, where the minus and underscore key is, uh, you can do the regular question mark. And then where the plus or equals key is, upside down question mark. The keyboard mapping is a bit different, like the numbers, if you do shift plus the numbers it's a little bit different. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or oh, sorry 0, and it's a little bit different than how it would be if you do just normally, and you know it has other special characters. You can, you kind of just have to learn, like they have this character the C with the something underneath. So yeah, you have all the special characters that you would need. And this of course works for any other language. You just have to kind of look at that language keyboard mapping and kind of learn how to use it. But this is always handy. If say you're typing something in Spanish, you can just type regular English characters and then just uh, apostrophe plus the vowel or whatever letter you want accent on top of. So yeah, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you next video.